Good afternoon, greetings from Amsterdam. This is Murat. Today is 10 October Sunday. We are in Amsterdam Central Station. Now we go out and check around. I'm gonna follow a touristic route today because I'm lazy. Some guys are playing the free pan. This is the main gate of Amsterdam Central Station. Look at sailing. This is after the renovation. It was under construction for months, so now it's opened. In outside area, there are still some construction constructions and renovation works a lot. I think it will be continued uh, like two years more, probably. But uh, we can take a look from here what's going on on the other side. They renewed the tram stations and some more bicycle parking areas. Let me arrange the lights. Right, hello, how are everybody? This is Amsterdam Central Station building and we will be walking through Nieuwendijk or Damrak. I couldn't decide yet which one we should follow, Damrak or Nieuwendijk. Maybe Damrak is better, but I think you missed the Amsterdam city centrum. So today I will be walking only around Amsterdam city centrum, the usual street, so it will be also easier to me. Sunset time is around 7.30 today. There are so many people here today. One Tong. Hi Murat, went to buy and follow my travels Amsterdam Coffee Mug and can't tell what currency it doesn't look like Euro sign. Oh, I don't know yet. I'm also new about that. I will check that one Tong. But thank you so much. I will upload more designs for that, by the way. Hello, Colleen, Jack Mundo. Thank you, Leo Hartmann. You can see the Follow My Travels shops uh, on the below of the videos. Thank you, Carmela, Jakob, Entropy, and Bora, G Hart, Demirji, Tibor, David, Trevor Rondom, Paula Melo is here from Brazil, Paul Morris, Liz, France. Gambia, Antonio, so many people here today. Malta Network Resources, American guy. Alright, let's continue to walk. G, hello. As you can see, tourist tours are online. There are more uh, tourist cruises than uh, the previous months. And also, there are more space for uh, cruise companies, ticket offices in this area after the renovation let's take a look at the central station building and the metro station let's go i'm gonna show you a little bit damrak view and then probably i will continue through damrak or nirondike let's start with damrak and then we will decide later hello angela hello tommy san los angeles david novello hello And Dylan Williams from Wales. Argentina is here. Hello, Tibus. Hello. This is the first Amsterdam video after a month, probably, because I have been to Turkey for two weeks. And then after Turkey trip, uh, I visited Den Haag, Rotterdam, etc. So I couldn't find a chance to show you Amsterdam view. For a long time, I guess you missed Amsterdam ambience. So today I recorded some videos to share the next week for you in some of the most popular streets of Amsterdam. And now I will be walking through the other streets that I didn't record today. Hello, Pavloti, Rajan. 
the weather is 16 Celsius. Actually, it's warmer than yesterday, especially at this time. But it's cloudy. It's a typical grey weather of Amsterdam today. There are so many tourists around in the centrum, but most of them are French. I heard only French accent today. Not British, not Russian, not German, nothing. Only French. I don't know why. It seems French people are more enthusiastic about visiting coffee shops. Hüseyin Bey, hi, Mert Kaya, teşekkürler. And David, welcome in advance. Hope you will have a good time here without any problem. Hello, Indonesia, Erwin. Erwin or Erwin. Okay, today I increased the video quality. I hope you will notice that. And I hope we will not have any interruption because I have increased the quality. That means I use more data package. Maybe you would like to see the dancing houses view first. Let's take a look and then I will come back to this side. Here's the most popular Instagram photo spot, as you can see. Merhaba, Umut, hoş geldin. Sivas'a selamlar. İyiyim, teşekkürler. Umarım sen de iyisindir. Actually, I noticed that I also missed walking to Amsterdam streets. Look at that, professionals. Asian people are always professional about taking photo in some spots. Look at some other Asians. I don't think they are tourists. Probably they live here. Canal cruises. Let's go to the other side. Right. Well, the police blocked the tramway. I I don't know tram line. Let's take a look what will happen because the tram is coming and they left. <laughs> tram won. Amsterdam tram has won. How much is the canal tour? I think it's between 12 euro and 15 euro one hour tour most of them are like that but there are also some canal tours like 8 euro and some of them are more expensive because it's included drinks and pizzas foods etc Serdar Aslan Orlando'ya geliyor. Hoş geldiniz şimdiden. Leiden güzel seçim. Teşekkürler. Serdar Aslan welcome to Amsterdam tomorrow. David which is yes it's true. If you buy an Amsterdam card, Canal Cruises included the price. You don't need to get any extra 
ticket for Canal Cruise. Also, you can visit some museums free, free of cost. Thank you, Adrian. Yes, Berlache on the left. Here it is. Yeah, as I said, I am lazy today, so probably I will miss some important landmarks. Another landmark is here, Manekian Peace, the most famous. Maybe not the, it's not the best, maybe, but it's the most popular one, Manekian Peace. And next to that, Mao's Vegan, Halal. Look at the queue. That's price queue. That's the queue for Manekian Peace. Right. I will use the next street to reach Nieuwendijk. <laughs> How far is the Kalfersat? It's not far away. Maybe we can take a look. It's only a few minutes away from here, Kalfersat. All right, let's try to the other street. This is the end of the queue for Manekian Peace. Fries shop. What at number one Holland price for some guys? We don't know who who voted. Hate walking the Damrak Matev, don't be fat. So I changed the route. Now I'm getting into the Nieuwen Dyke. The second oldest streets of Amsterdam. Nieuwen Dyke. This is a small coffee shop street. Coffee shop the Grand. Four hundred twenty coffee shop. Okay, this is New One Dyke. Shopping Street. Popular one. Let's make a change in our lives. First time we get into this small street. I walk around a lot, but on a live stream video, this is our first time. Walk to walk. Newt burger. Burger. Eat your clothes off. You have to eat when you are mute. All right, now we will go back. I don't want to walk around the other empty street. So I will return to Nivon Dyke. Natural way to roll. 
Some rolling plates. Thank you, SP. Burger bar. Hello, Tiago. And we are again at Nivondijk. Typical Amsterdam t-shirts. Don't worry, <laughs> I will create better t-shirts for you so you can buy from follow my travels merchandise. <laughs> and also hats, caps, Amsterdam caps. Everything is 10 euro woman fashion also those are 10 euro I think it's pretty cheap for new one like Paula Melo double espresso time thank you so much Paula Melo my espresso sponsor thank you I have my national colors today for you all Dutch colors kingdom of sweets Thank you, Julia Lordello from Brazil. Thank you so much. And plus here, Trevor Ramon, SP. <coughs> Please walk behind the ladies. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm not doing that on purpose, sorry. <laughs> Let's have a look in Pop Cult, please. I don't know where it is. Trevor Ramon. If I can see that, BB jeans, Mafio Casanostro, born to kill. Wow, another fresh shop. So, actually, this is burger fabric. All right, let me show you burger fabric. Another burger chain in Amsterdam. I will use that espresso budget on the next not crowded coffee place. I promise Paolo Melo. Just a classical souvenir shop of Amsterdam. But uh, you have your own shop. No, actually, because I reached 10,000 subscribers, YouTube allowed me to uh, use merchandise options. So there is an online company integrated with YouTube. So when you watch my videos, you will see some products on the below of the videos, like T-shirts, cap, sweatshirts, etc., or cup mug, and you can buy it through that online website. So I will take commissions donations about that like for every product between three and five euro i think i'm also new about that so i will try it when someone buy it i will be knowing that <laughs> angelo have a geneva for the road wow thank you angelo yep. Angelo, thank you for the super chat for my Geneva. I don't know if I can find a good Geneva on our route today, but if I see, I will do that. Maybe I can go through Appian, the place where I made a video before. At the end of the video, I will do, try that. Do you know any instrument music store? Fair 40. I know one nearby Rembrandt, uh, sorry, Muntplein. There's a good music store. Today it's not possible to go there, but another live stream when we do around Rembrandt Lane, I will show you that one. Previously I had bought a microphone from there. So it's a good one. There are so many choices. 
Albert and Gonzalez, Murad, you made my day again. Thanks and hugs from Brazil. Thank you so much. That's great. We have so many people from Brazil today. And I like Tortoise Recommends, Burger Fabric, our moderator. Thank you. If you are a tourist in Amsterdam, this should be in your bookmark, Albertine. This is not this is an Albertine to go. Prices are a bit higher than the normal Albertines, but still it's cheaper than any other restaurant in Amsterdam. I mean there are sandwiches inside salads ready to eat. If you are a budget tourist, uh, you have to follow Albertines definitely. And for drinking water, there are free water taps in the stations, train stations and metro stations. Do not pay money for water. You can drink it on the stations. Those are some tips from your guide today. Your tour guide Murat gives some tips. Albertine has great baked goods too, yes, it's true. Croissants, sandwich, bakeries and many other things. Also in some Albertines there are open buffet salads. So it's also possible eating healthy. Shoes, 80 euro. Those are also 80 euro. 50 euro 60 euro those are have you ever been to brazil not yet american guy reacts but i would like to visit sometime hi mohammed hello This is another small beautiful street but I'm not gonna get into that one this time. Let's go towards the Dam Square. For the newcomers uh, today it's like 16 uh, Celsius. It's a warm day. I don't wear my jacket even. I will only wear short and wear shorts. That's all. Yes, it's true, Mohammed. Where have you been? Uh, by, but by the way, it's also our first live stream in Amsterdam after a month. Hello, Dona Camilla, welcome. Good to see you. Febo is here, as usual. Automated machine, fast food, restaurant. Well, another mannequin piece is here, by the way. And Simisari. Simisara is empty, it's pity. Turkish bakery Simisara is empty. What a shame. Thank you, Donna. You're so nice. Hello, Mikhail. Looks like it's getting back to normal now. I'm almost, yes. During the day it was more crowded, but it's getting darker slowly. So, And it's Sunday. Less people on the streets, but still not bad. I think it's a new one, the mannequin piece, because I haven't seen that before. For example, Dam Square was more crowded about three hours ago. I was here, and now it looks more empty. And as usual, there were some demonstrations, protests. Let me show you the Royal Palace. Here it is. Yes, it's 5.40, it's here. And the new church, the Nieuwe Kerk, 
H&M, one of the other most important landmarks of Jump Square. <laughs> Just joking. The Bayankov Luxury Shopping Mall, Hotel Krasnopolsky, another historic building. It's a hotel. And the Diamond Company, Hassan. Gassan or Hassan. And Madame Tussaud, of course. Here it is, Madame Tussaud. There's a Bolivia protest here. Dona Camilla, thank you for the super chat 5 euro. Another contribution to my coffees. Huh? Anyone from Bolivia? Bolivia resistance. Okay, now I'll be heading to the Davalon. It's a perfect time to go into the wall and I think. But maybe I should get my coffee first. What do you think? Let's get an espresso. Espresso time and then I will go into the wall. Those are or with its rental bikes the train company bikes public transportation company rental bikes thank you the board i will not get into the red zone don't worry i'll just be walking around Double espresso. I miss my double espresso. Oops. Okay, I think this is a good one. They have oat milk, oat drink, and it's empty. Cold or hot? I like hot. Get the double espresso. Yes. Those are some desserts. To go, yeah, to go. Yeah. This is the inside. It's a pink place. This is a fake cake, fake cake. Those are fake cakes. Keep your distance. All right. The name of the place is Lucy's, by the way. Popcart is down here on the right. Do you want a lid on it? No, I don't need it. I will do it. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Thank you. Oops. Billy. It's a good one. Good choice. First time I bought my coffee here from this place, but their coffee beans are good, really. Pablo Timurat, do you like apple crumble cake? Yes! A few times a week I eat that actually. Pop culture, pop culture. Where is that? Well, I think next time I will try it. Travel random. Yes, it's true in a double cup, double espresso. Thank you for the super chat, donators. 
Denk sie das? Okay, next time I will check the location of the pop cult and I will take you there, right, Trevor Rondon. Sorry for this time. Because for this time I want to show you some more touristic places. That means we are going around the Wallen. We have been to Anne Frank House and a Frank House recently, not yet. But I walked around. It's getting busy again. Anna Frank House. Hi Natch. Good to see you. Jihad mask mandatory in restaurants? No. Mask is mandatory only in trains, public transportation, tram, train, bus, etc. and hospitals. In restaurants or outside, in any shops, you don't need to wear mask. But if you need to sit in the restaurant or cafe bar, you have to show, show your QR code uh, for vaccination. That means uh, you have to be vaccinated or you have to provide a PCR test to sit in a restaurant. But outside areas of restaurants or bars, terraces, you don't need to show anything, you, ju you can just sit down on the outside. If you sit outside, they don't ask anything. <laughs> Is there a capacity limit in a restaurant? No. They removed that thing. There is no capacity limit or any other thing, etc. Are the tests free? I think no. I think it's not free any longer. The test. So, social distance is not mandatory any longer here in the Netherlands, as I know. Arkanos, good afternoon. To working in Amsterdam, one must have speaking Dutch or we can get away with English. You can make it almost everything with English, but if you speak Dutch, there are more job opportunities, of course. Okay, this is Damstrat, one of the most touristic streets of Amsterdam. Amsterdam t-shirts are 25 euro. Cakes. Okay, I'm waking up. Espresso worked. Thanks a lot again. For Super Chatters and YouTube members. Cannabis socks. Those are rental bikes, make bike. That means they are tourists. The next thing I'm gonna show you. A new thing in Amsterdam, a 
about five, six months ago it, it's opened. We are very close to that thing. It's a progressive and creative thing. Guess what is that? Jack is everywhere on the Mural says it's warm. <laughs> you know, we are in a touristic area, so everyone wears jacket. But after five years, I'm a, a little bit get used to wear some uh, other things like other than jackets. I'm becoming Dutch. Dona Camilla, another contribution. Thank you so much. 3 euro espresso, you paid my espresso again, thank you. But that one from uh, Paolo Mello. I will use yours the next one, for the next one, another time. It's a rubber duck store. I don't know what's about Dutch people's duck fetish. This is a duck fetish shop. You can find anything about ducks different types of ducks there are some famous ones Look at that. there's even Obama Obama ducky give you cheese a chance chance wow. it's true 16 is pretty warm to me uh, for Dutch people, they can swim in on this weather. I can't swim, but at least I can walk without wearing a jacket. Where is the Murat <laughs> I'm waiting for that. I'm not that famous yet. <laughs> this is for Pablo T, Argentine restaurant. We are walking towards the danger zone. The danger zone, but I'll just take a look to the 3D bridge of Amsterdam, the new one. We are officially in the Wallen, actually, but there are no windows on the street. So we are safe until the 3D bridge, the smart bridge. Good morning, California. Well, we have 200 people. Thanks, everyone. After a long time, we have more people on our live stream. Please thumbs up if you like this tour. Maybe I will do more in Amsterdam. Usually I avoid Amsterdam live streams because I prefer to explore some other places in Amsterdam, Netherlands beyond Amsterdam. So, give me motivation about Amsterdam, the district. All right. And, and yes, I think the view is better from here. The 3D bridge is over there. This is the smart bridge. As I know, they uh, it measures how many people walk during the day, I mean, where, what is their average speed and what is the busy hours during the day, etc. This is an innovative bridge and it's 3D printed bridge, one piece steel bridge. They opened it 
a few months ago, maybe six times, six months ago. I have a specific video about that. If you wish, you can watch that one. And on the weekend, I visited another 3D printed bridge in the Netherlands, in uh, Nijmegen, the longest 3D bridge of the world. I will share it the next week. What's the material used? Steel, I think, steel. As I know, it's steel. Let's walk through. 3D bridge. Right. The materials looks like gold. Oops. Probably you know the streets very well. The other side is red zone. Okay, let's go to wide angle so I can show you the bridge a better. And this is the wall, the main canal of the wall. Mert bir de Naime yakındakini gör. O daha kötü. Alright. This is the bottom. There is a plate here. Information about the bridge, but they removed it. Spiti. So it measured my steps, I think. Now where should I go? Serkan kaçar merhaba. Aynen Türküm. Okay, I wanna go to the other side. So I'll quickly walk to the other side between windows without showing anything, hopefully. Almost done. Okay, we made it. And garbage. We made it, guys. We walked through windows, and I didn't show you anything, hopefully. Amsterdam people help to Amsterdam people. This is a community place for the neighborhood. Wow, Donna, good news for you. <gülüyor> Glad to hear that. Serkan Kaçar, e, aşınız varsa hiçbir sorun yok. Şu anda en özgür ülkelerden biri dünyada, Hollanda aşı konusunda, yani Covid konusunda. Sadece toplu taşımada maske takmanız gerekiyor, onun dışında hiçbir şey yok. Aşınız varsa. Is everything pretty much back to normal now? Yes, except the tourists. I mean, most of the tourists are French. Netherlands is not open to all the tourists yet, but it's getting crowded. 
I think around Christmas time it will be better or worse. We will see that. Normally in Christmas time the cases are increasing, but this year there are more vaccinated people, so I don't expect much cases like the previous year. Good afternoon, England. Oh my god, a parking spot, David. <laughs> yes. It's a uh, wine cruise. Rose. You see those kind of cruises? There are unlimited drinks inside. During the tour, you can drink however you want. Do you make love declarations in Turkish? No, no, no. I received that. Turkish question, so I replied in Turkish. Welcome, SNN One. Have a great time here. This is the old church from 13th century, and I think the last time we visited here, the tower was under construction, and it's finished now. oldest building of Amsterdam Wow Now, now the bird is here Well, I saw the smoke boat. So this is smoke boat. You can smoke inside. Around the church, you can see the windows. There are many windows around the church as well. Let's continue. Another great view in the historic center of the Wallen. Smoke boat is still there. Okay, now we are heading to the oldest street of Amsterdam, <laughs> but from another side. Oh yeah, come down and take 
Let's use this small alley to reach the, all the streets of Amsterdam. Probably many of you know already. It's called Warmerstraat. Actually, we don't know which one is old, the new one, Dijk or uh, Warmerstraat, but probably they were built in the same period. Nowadays, Warmerstraat is a more popular place for tourists. More coffee shops, restaurants and bars in that street. Thank you, Lord Waterloo will uh, I have never been there, I will check later. This Z dike side. Let's go to the opposite direction to them side. <laughs> Baba souvenir shop for you, Mert and Demirji. <laughs> Baba, Oops, sorry for the zoom. David Noviello, there are similar alleys. Hey, how are you? How are you? <laughs> good, you? Good. I will, I will come to you later, another week. <laughs> good to see you back. Bye-bye. <laughs> you remember that guy? He is the bartender of Thai street food restaurants. We had drink with Sonar on a live stream. Did you remember? He had given us uh, some tequila shots, free, free tequila shots, dangerous. <laughs> he found me on the street. <laughs> Let's take a look to Damrak and then I'll come back to the same street. Sorry. <laughs> right. Central Station View. Small words, yes. <laughs> That's great. Many people remember him. Such a fun night. Wait, so now. All right, the grasshopper and Bellache. That's Tamrak. Let's go back to our touristy route.
Lucky shots. Open now. Lifestyle boutique. <laughs> Wat een lifestyle. Another burger fabric is here. Ah, the Kirk view. Happy shop nedir? Açıklayamıyorum şu an. <gülüyor> Tahmin ettiğim bir happy shop. Warmostrat. Yes, we are in Warmostrat now. Hele koyu, hele afunt. Ya, klopt. Irish pub. Lente. Stones Coffee. There's a music, so I walk faster. You must come prima. Another Stones Cafe. The second one. Little Manhattan is over there, and it's the tower of the old church. Slavencha, thank you, Daryl Walsh. Walsh. This is a dancing club, a kind of dance. And another Irish pub, there the walls. We are almost in an Irish street. <laughs> Someone brought me Condomery is around here, yes, it's here Condomery is uh, another popular touristic shop Touristic shop I'm gonna show you some products Serkan Gülal, teşekkürler YouTube member Hold on the chain Please friends, my your English for good now. I've been serious selling gas forever. And then it but not being it. That's your secret. Oh Liz friends, thank you a lot. I'm so happy to hear that because I'm studying about that. I mean I still study about Dutch and I'm still study about pronunciation in English. That's great to hear that. Uh, what's my secret? Studying every day I can say that. <laughs> Studying every day, watching TV in Dutch, listening to radio in Dutch, and reading in Dutch, and I'm also doing the same things for the English. Some funny things, sorry. 
Let's go to Damrak site again. <laughs> Thanks, Sarkan. Yes, I'm doing well. I've been to Istanbul for two weeks. Now I returned to the Netherlands. Uh, for a while, I will be here, so I will be con uh, sharing videos from the Netherlands. No, no, I'm going to take a look at the Talking in Portuguese, following the wall. I missed that. And again, we are at Tamrak. Soon I will be finishing this video, it's already one hour. Angelo, yes, I'm aware of that webcam. They removed the one on the top of Krasnopolsky Hotel, I think, and there is one, a new one in uh, Berlache. Our last 10 minutes, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. In 10 minutes, I will be finishing the video. The next one will be on the next Saturday or Thursday. I'll be sharing that with YouTube members earlier, as usual. You're welcome. I hear a bit Russian influence while we are speaking, Raiba. Actually, I don't have anything with Russian, but usually when I meet someone, they told me that if I'm Russian or not. I think my face looks like Russian, I don't know. But I know also a little bit Russian, basic. I don't know why, but my native language is Turkish. I'm from Istanbul, Turkey. We are back to Dam Square. I see a crowd in Dam Square. Let's take a look. I think there is a performance, touristy performance. Since we are doing a touristy tour today, I'll show you all the touristy things. Some people were hit by the tram, <laughs> almost. Let's take a look. What? I don't know what they are doing. Who thinks I can do this Mexican? <laughs> this is not a demonstration, this is not a protest, there is a performance, I think. It's a great happy ending for this tour. I'm, I'm gonna finish this after, the, after that performance. If it's already not finished, I don't know. I hit like before the stream even started, <laughs> David Noel. <laughs> I do the same. We don't speak Portuguese. Person. Okay. okay, there are some volunteers over there. Those are volunteers, and one of them are one of them is performer. Let's see what's happening.
now I'm like a webcam. All of my travels webcam is here. <laughs> Oh, uh, it's pity they are getting closer. <laughs> it's pity. Now we have to get closer. For David, red check, red hair check for David. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, let's do this. No more jokes. More like more basic can be Everybody, if you like it, grab your hands. If I don't make it, call me an ambulance. You got that? I'm not joking. It's dangerous. Watch. Watch. She's watching us. There is another live stream, guys. Let's finish the show with a Hi, big Bob Grace, thank you. Can you please open nice the cabinet? Open, open, open. Hey. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're ready for this, everybody, please make some noise. Ladies and gentlemen, before I do this, I do want to say a few important words. First of all, thank you very much for coming around supporting my show with this energy. You guys have been awesome, thank you so much. Yeah. My name is Emilio, my name is Emilio. I've traveled the world doing what I do today. What I do, ladies and gentlemen, I make one line. Spontaneously, I bring people like yourselves look around you, from all over the world. To forget about enemies, to forget about wars, to forget about wars. All right, he started telling a story, so I'm done. <laughs> I heard it many times, sorry. That's the end of the story. Just gymnastics, it's true. So that angel is over there, he's back. So everything is getting back to the normal. If that angel is here, it's it means Amsterdam is going back to the normal. 
Okay, that's all guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you on another time next weekend probably in Amsterdam on Sunday or Saturday. I'll share it later. Thanks for watching, hitting the like button and for YouTube members, thanks a lot for supporting me always and for super chats. I will go and find my foldable bike. I cannot remember clearly where I put my bike actually. I'll finish the video and I will find that. And if you wish, check the video description. I have my social media links, also our Discord server. Thank you, Paolo Melo, Naj, Dimitri, Angelo, J. Adams, Sarkan, CU, Rockans, Rocks and Rolls, Bora, Tyler Walsh, and David, and all others. Thank you so much, Tibor, Bob. This is Magna Plaza, hello, Olegas. Alright. Bye-bye.